Hey gang, this is me, Joe V, with RCGroups.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Rev Electrics Cell Pro Power Lab 8 1344 watt charger with bump controller. While we're at it, we're also going to be taking a closer look at this awesome custom RC charger case by Rotorcraft RC. They did a great job of putting this one together for me and Joe, and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Now let's dig right in and see what we've got. One of the first things I want to point out about the Power Lab 8 charger is that right now I have it set in expansion channel number one. What this means is, is everything that we do with this charger is going to be done through the bump controller. So let's get over to the bump controller and see how everything works together. You'll see here on the Rev Electrics bump controller that it's asking for us to bump a battery to get started. So let's walk through that process so it makes sense to everybody. First thing you're going to want to make sure you have is some bump tags. This should ship with your bump controller. You should get a few of these with you when you get your bump controller. What these are are IR tags that hold all the memory for the battery that you're charging. Once you program the bump tag with that battery, that battery will always be remembered in your system and it will keep the settings that you select for that particular battery. And then after that, all you will need to do is bump the battery and plug it in and you'll be good to go. Let's walk through how to bump a battery. So for today's review, me and Joe has selected a Max Amps 5450 milliamp six cell pack with true 100C charge rate. You can see I've already got my bump compliant tag installed on the battery. So let's take a look and see how this all works. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hold the bump tag with the battery over the bump zone on the bump controller. Then all you have to do after that is just follow the on-screen instructions. So it says select setup to configure the tag for use with one of your batteries. So now you hit setup. This is a LiPo. This is a 6S LiPo. So you just jog it up to 6X. Touch the capacity. This one happens to be a 5450 milliamp pack. Select OK. Select Next. Under Brand Name, you just type it in. This one is a Max Amps. Hit OK. Pack C rating. This one has a true 120 C rating. It automatically pops up and says this will have a max charge rate of 5 C at 27.25 amps and hit next. It automatically sets the values here. That's a 4.2 volt max, a 3.3 volt minimum, and the pack count will be one for this because I won't be parallel charging or charging in series with this pack. It also sets the cell internal resistance at 0.64. Hit next. It's going to warn you that battery radiance can only be set once. What this means is, is that if you, after you pass this step, you cannot go back and change the settings. So you want to make sure you go back and review everything before you bump the tag. Our previous values correct, mine are, so I go ahead and hit continue. And it automatically sets these values here. It's got an Accu charge rate of 1C, a normal charge rate of 2C, a fast charge rate of 3C, and a discharge rate of 1C. Go ahead and hit next. It also pre-populates these fields. So this is an Accu charge term of 4.2 volts, a normal charge term of 4.2 volts, a fast charge term of 4.2 volts, and a discharge term of 3.3 volts. Hit next. The storage charge term is 3.8 volts, and the default operation is Accu charge, which means you'll be charging this back with a balancing board. Hit next. 
This is the charge counter. So if this is a relatively new pack, you can start out with zero. Or if you know you've cycled the battery already before you go to the bump charger, you can set this and it will keep track of how many pack charges you have given this particular pack. Hit next. This shows your fuel table. Hit next. And there's your battery. Max amps, 54, 50 milliamp, 120C, 6S LiPo. So now it says bump the battery and do not move it. Okay, so now this pack is ready to go. Now that we have our max amps pack bumped, let's see how it works. So now that I have all the information for this pack programmed into the bump controller, all I have to do is bump the pack, plug it in, and hit go. You'll notice here, while it's charging, shows you the time that you have left, the percent that the pack is charged, all your individual cell information is here, and everything looks good to go. You can check the temperature. You can check the setup to see how you've got it set up to charge. You can check the cell internal resistance. You can check the individual cell voltage. And you can check the status. One of the nice things built into the Power Lab 8 charger is, say I had several of these 5450 milliamp max amp packs that I needed to bump. What I could do is go ahead and install my bump compliant tags on each pack. Then after I get one pack programmed in, it gives me the option to bump, continue bumping packs. Then all I would have to do is bump all of the tags on all the packs I have using the same information that I've already saved. That way you don't have to go back in and redo everything from scratch. Okay, so one of the other really cool features built into the bump controller with the Power Lab 8 charger is, is that say I have several batteries here that I want to parallel charge. I have these 450 milliamp 25C two cells that I've already programmed in, into my bump controller. But each one of these packs has varying levels of discharge already put into them. So some are half, some are three quarters, uh, and anywhere in between. So all I have to do is bump one pack. Okay, it reads the Glacier 450 milliamp 25C packs that I've already got programmed in. And then all I need to do at that point is plug in however many packs that I want to charge. So in this case, here's one, here's two, here's three, and here's four. So now all I have to do is go up here on the bump controller where it says times 1P, that means times 1 pack. Select that button, select 4 packs, and tell it to go. You don't have to worry about the charge capacity of each pack. As long as you've got 4 of the same packs, the Cell Pro Charger automatically adjusts charge rates for each pack. So you don't have to worry about if one had a longer discharge, if one had a shorter discharge, it automatically goes in and adjusts its charge rates so that you no longer have to worry about that. What that does is takes out the step where you have to test them to make sure they're of the similar discharge capacity so that way you don't pop your packs. I like this feature a lot. It really simplifies parallel charging. Okay gang, that does it for the Rev Electric's Power Lab 8 with bump controller battery workstation. Be sure you check out the next video on this awesome custom charger case from Rotocraft RC. Thanks for watching.